Hey there, friends. Got it. Finally, a lesson. What? Suggestion box. Here we are. All the time. Robin stinks is not a suggestion. That is true. Doesn't make it a suggestion. Is it because of the fishy breath? Wash your clothes more regularly. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Those are bad suggestions. Why would you do it all in the same water? That's like telling me if I take a bath and wash my clothes and use mouthwash in the water that I, I am. Oh, oh, wait, I do. I do everything with the same water. Oh! Ah, then those. Those are the suggestions from us. <laughs> the whole reason for the suggestion box is to have a thoughtful way to address the flaws in the team titans. The flaws? How many flaws? helpful suggestion in here. Mm, that looks like your handwriting. <laughs> well, it's not. Anonymous Whoa. Whoa. The leader of the titans, There's my buddy, the fish. Should teach more life lessons. Is that the reason why the li the episode is called Finally a Lesson? Oh, boy. Okay, th those are actually good lessons, though, but is that supposed to be, like... Is this episode supposed to be, like, you know, an answer to, like, oh, the Teen Titans Go doesn't teach us life lessons, and in most of the episodes, they learn a lesson, but then it's, like, at the end, forget it. Forget the lesson. What lesson? There is no lesson. Sorry, dudes. Oh. I don't have time for lessons. Peace, boy. With some cool rollerblading dudes. You know what? what? About friendship, with us? friendship is important. I know about friendship. <laughs> be friends with cool dudes. Oh. Peace, boy, calling the others lame, though? Oh. Uh, guys, isn't this destroying property? What? I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's their name? Other cool rollerblading dudes? Also, why does this feel like an after school episode? Like one of those episodes you come home from after school where they teach you a, a new a lesson and whatever. So Beast Boy is one of the cool kids. So is Beast Boy going to learn the lesson? You like you could use the friend. Oh. You guys are mad at me for ditching you to hang out with the cool rollerblading dudes? Nah, we know how to rollerblade with the punches. Oh because my good. friends are the ones who always have your back. Always. Oh. They learned their lesson. That was the most boring and obvious scenario in the world. But at least Beast Boy learned the good lesson. Daddy did. Beep, oh. beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Okay, if that's not the lesson, then what is the lesson gonna be? So I'm pretty sure that's a lesson Robin doesn't want. It's too cliche, too obvious, too easy of a lesson. All right, Robin, tell us, what is the lesson you want to teach us? I'm going to teach you a real lesson, one that will benefit you for years and years Yeah? To come. Is it the importance of trust? That's, That's good, too. Bad? That it's okay to be different? Aww. Do you hide in the abandoned refrigerator because you may suffocate? What? Those are all garbage lessons! Wait, hold on. Except for the refrigerator one. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, don't be... Don't be hiding refrigerators. Don't be doing that. You will suffocate in a fridge if you stay in there long enough. That is actually a very good lesson right there, and I'm glad Robin agrees. But those other lessons are all super obvious facts everybody's already learned. Okay, what's a lesson we haven't learned? How to buy rental property as a long-term investment. What? Isn't this a show for kids? What, what, what are kids gonna learn from an episode like this, though? Rental property? Money? What? Rental property? You want to talk to us about buying rental property? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Rental is property that is a place the you lesson? Buy that other people live in. Yeah, oh. you become a landlord, basically. I don't understand. Uh, actually, that sounds super boring, bro. <laughs> well, it is, but no one else is teaching this valuable information. Rental what? property is one of the best ways to build equity. Oh my what goodness. Are we actually going, going to play? learn this? Equity is the amount of a property you truly own. Oh it's my goodness. Your loan balance and your property's market value. <gasps> oh no. The one episode where they want to teach a lesson and it's about home ownership, equity, and renting out your property to tenants. But wait, what, what's next? Are we going to learn how to do taxes? Where's the, where's the tax episode? I want to learn how to do my taxes to Robin. When, when is that episode coming out? If you sold your property oh, my. The, bank, the, value of your equity is the faces! When you build equity, 
It is scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Super boring. <laughs> you can't make me build equity. You can't. Really weird. If you there were so many big words in there. My brain now. Yeah, I'm a tuna, and even I don't know how to build equity. I live in a freaking ocean. What equity? What property do I have to rent out to tenants? I don't want to become a landlord. Huh. Okay, I thought you guys would like to make a lot of money. Oh. Why did you say that? I did. <laughs> Equity is just another word for money. Ooh. Oh, now you're talking. Also, word for the horsies. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 excuse. <laughs> what the? Just tell us how to make that money, bro. Yeah, Robin, that that's the girl you have a crush on, the girl, the horse girl. That Also, I think she's mistaking equity for equestrian. They both start with E and Q, so equity, equestrian, yeah, they're they're the same. Yeah, it's all about horses. First things first, we have to find the right rental property to buy. Oh boy! Buy a place for cheap and rent high. Oh wow! The place is the that looks nice. What up, doorman? <laughs> Plants. Ooh. Oh, no, no, that's not the property we're looking at. This is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Joke's on you, Batman. Oh, my goodness. And the Superman logo. Joker, is this what you be doing? Of course, you gotta buy a cheap place. You gotta fix it up. And then you can rent for very high prices. That's equity. <laughs> Ooh, that place looks rough. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Do, I like the light. Sticky Joe! There's nothing wrong with Sticky Joe. Don't think that's what it means. It. Oh, whoa, that pelican's got. Oh my goodness. Is this continuity the... Remember that whole Valentine's Day episode where the crab and the pelican... We got to get the... Yeah, the, the babies are still there. Their babies are still there. Oh, wow. Hello. Uh -huh. So, okay. yes. do it. Right. Good news. Our offer was accepted. They got that bad apartment. All right. We bought a whole building <laughs> Not yet. We still need to find financing. Oh. Financing? Stop oh, financing is how we are going to pay for the property. And yeah. how much is the building? Five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of money right there. Five hundred k for a rundown building like that. But of course, if you got to get money, you got to get the money on a loan from a bank or whatever before buying the building. Because I'm pretty sure the Teen Titans don't have five hundred thousand dollars lying around. Are you crazy? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's still a lot of money, though. $100,000 sounds good. <laughs> or, you know do pyramid schemes it worked out once and then it didn't work because we got a bunch of mummies coming up but who has a lot of money hello batman uh, i'm going to wow to to crime fighting lab. <laughs> oh lot dang they got a hundred k from batman like that so easy <laughs> don't start eating the money either with only 20% of the price. This the is will come from a bank loan. Uh -huh. I thought the boring part was over. It's no. Boring, but fun at the same time. This is an episode. I wonder if the kids actually learned anything from this episode. I know we got the wacky animation that to keep you going, but a lot of this is actually real information. What are kids going to learn how to do this 20 years from now like I know how to build equity thanks to Robin from Team Titans Go! But mostly boring. 
Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of the loan process. Oh boy. The first thing we're going to have to consider is our credit score. Not credit, credit scores. I never said this would be easy. I'm sure oh my goodness. All this important it's... info like a hammer to the skull. <laughs> you know something that will hurt even more than this important information. Oh my goodness. This is way too real. Bank loans, equity, credit scores. I am curious. Like, like the, the, the writers came together and were like, hey, let's make an episode about building equity. The kids will love it. <laughs> Oh, that is bad. <laughs> what future? Does anybody have a future, though? <laughs> Aww. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> having to think about securing the right lender. No, I would finally rather listen to you, Robin. Fantastic, and all Robin had to do was talk about your bad future with attack dogs. You see, if all we had were attack dogs that taught us about low credit scores and not having enough money for retirement, you would listen a lot more, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you like to be in class, and if you're not paying attention, a bunch of dogs just come in and start biting you? That way you'll learn. Everybody will learn. Excellent. I know this is a lot of information to take in, so let's Those take doggies are so cute. Fun. Yeah, what what is fun with all that stuff? Filling out forms. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Filling out paperwork is fun. It's like drawing with words on a specific line with specific information. Ooh, hey. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Doesn't it look like a dinosaur? Rawr, rawr. It, wait, it actually looks like a dinosaur, but. I, like, who is this episode for? I, I'm just really curious. Who is this episode for? Because if it's for me. I guess because this is actually giving you good information, but at the same time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm starting to worry this is going nowhere. Yeah, this had better lead to us fighting someone or something interesting. I, I hope something is interesting. Don't worry. I promise you this will all lead to a very satisfying end. <laughs> Very satisfying. Oh boy. Well, they, they got it. Yay. Now the owners of a rental property. Equity. This place will be making us some good money. You sure? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a pause. What a pause. But how was anyone going to live here? You spent. 100,000 down and then 400,000 from the bank and you think you're going to make your money back from people wanting to live in here. You got to fix this place up. To make money, the place has got to look good. Uh-oh, Titans. It's Brother Blood. What is oh. his scheme? He has demanded we fix his toilet. Tell oh. Him to he lives here. So as landlords... Yep, they're landlords. They got to help out the villains here. And if we refuse, <laughs> then he can withhold his rent money. Oh. We will lose equity. It's too we real. We cannot allow. <laughs> Titans, go! Maintain the quality of this building. <laughs> You're kidding me. So the Teen Titans have to be landlords and help out the villains of this freaking building. Otherwise, they'll withhold their rent money and they'll never gain their equity, which means that they'll be broke and they won't be able to pay back the bank loans. Which means they have to pay back the... I forgot the word. What happens when you don't pay your money? Do you have to pay extra money? Something about that. The words are leaving my mind. This episode is way too real. I don't want to be a landlord. Control freak. Ew. Oh, is that a uh, Mondo? Suck the light. Ew. Oh, wait. Is that rocker guy? Wasn't that the, wasn't that the rocker? I forgot his name, but that's the rocker one from the episode, The Mask, right? Where 
Robin's mask came off and he started freaking out. Is it that one or is there another? I know there were cool villains that only showed up once. When's Rose coming back? Uh, all this hard work is making me tired, yo. This is what we call That's what you equity. Ew. Oh, sweaty money. <laughs> the damp currency. Damp and moist. We're getting rich. Moist currency. I've just made a terrible discovery. Oh. The building is rent controlled. Oh. oh. It means the tenants in this building are paying below market value for these apartments. Oh. <laughs> let's evict these scoundrels. What? That's technically illegal. You say that, but landlords always find a way to make sure to get these people out so they can like upcharge the buildings and make more money. It's too real. This episode is way too real. Renters have their rights to be in a rent control building, but you got to find ways to kick them. Okay, I'm sounding like a landlord. I don't want to be a landlord. Renters have rights. I don't. There has to be a way to get rid of these people. We can't terminate their leases. Yeah. On their own. You got to make it you know bad. Attention, They're really Hello, teaching Hello, kids Hello. here. The Isn't it? It's not. It's evict. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Dang! Literally, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard Robin yell. Titans, evict! Literally, like, that's illegal. The landlords can't evict them themselves. So do not learn what they did. You have to find other ways to do it. But still, this is nuts. I wonder... I wonder if, like, any kid has saw this episode, went to school, like, the next day, and said... You know what I just learned? I learned about equity and evicting tenants who don't pay enough in a rent controlled apartment. And then they start when the teachers start worrying for you. It is such a shame they decided to do the moving out. <laughs> now we can raise the rents back to market value. <laughs> You, you, you need tenant to actually build equity, but in 30 years, it will be oh. to pay for our numerous old people medication. Yeah, like the really, they got that equity already in 30 years, though. Hi, I'm what? Robin of the Teen Titans. Oh, no, this is an after school episode. Literally every time there's an episode where they learn a lesson or something, there's always a character at the end saying, Hi, my name is Real Actor, Real Actress Name, and today's episode was a lot of laughs, but just know that this is very important. Bullying is bad. If you ever get bullied, please go find a teacher. Go find a principal. They won't care. I know Miss Simeon from Gumball won't care. I know we've had a lot of laughs today, but planning for your future is no joke. I wonder if that number is real. <laughs> you just learned a lesson. Th thank you. Th th thanks, Robin. I think I, I, I think I learned something. I've learned I don't want to be a landlord. I don't want to deal with that. But this episode is way too real. Like, everything here pretty much works. Like, if you want to get a loan, you need a good credit score. If you want to get a building, you have to pay a high price. But they do take a down payment, which the rest will have to come from a loan. But the down payment has to come from your own pocket. Blah, 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 blah. You need a good credit score. Credit score. Credit score runs everything. Why does credit score run everything? It's hard to build credit score, but easy to lose your credit score. You make one mistake and your credit score goes down so much, but it would take you years to fix it. But also, Robin is right. It would take many years to build equity because first, you have to pay out the loan. You have to make sure you cover enough for your down payment earlier. So they will have to make $500,000 or more because of interest in the bank loan to pay to make sure before they make, you know, free money. So for now, you're making money to pay a big loan, a giant loan. And then in 30 years time, like Robin said, you'll have enough money to pay your old people medication. So there you go. Lesson learned, right? You want to be a landlord now? Any landlords in the comments? But that's something I don't want to do because it's 
too much work do you just really want to work a job like that where you have to where people just don't end up liking you because you would end up yeah especially people who buy too many houses and they, they i don't know i don't know this episode just seemed way too real i don't know if any kid who watched this episode understood any of it besides that you know you know starfire kept talking about horses and money is that it's a lot of money i don't know i really don't know who this episode is for i i don't know like please tell me what you think in the comments below because i am confused i'm really confused i'm not saying this episode isn't good i enjoyed it but it's weird it's a weird episode but please do let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoyed this Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.